I don't want to be a lawyer. I know that sounds weird coming from somebody in law school, but let me explain. Coming into law school, my plan was never to be a lawyer. No offense to anybody that wants to do that, but personally, it's not for me. I don't want to spend my career preparing legal documents, doing legal research, and potentially being in and out of court. That just doesn't seem that appealing to me. That begs the question though, why did I go to law school? Sports. I went to law school not because I want to be a lawyer, but because I want to work in sports. And not just any job in sports, I want to work at the highest level of sports. I'm talking front office positions, or potentially opening up my own sports or talent agency if I decide to go that route. That still doesn't answer the question though of why law school? I mean, if I wanted to work in sports, I easily could have gotten an entry level position out of college and worked my way up through the industry. I could have focused on networking, building up my practical skills instead of getting a degree in something that I don't really want to do and racking up student debt along the way. And originally, that's the route I was planning to take. When I first started undergrad, my only major was in sports management. I was prepared to get my degree, get out, and work my way up the ladder. But then I took a random philosophy course, and I really enjoyed it. And the professor really liked me. In fact, he liked me so much that after the final, he pulled me aside and told me that I'd make a great judge someday if I decided to go the law school route. I thought about it for a very long time, and I realized I was kind of selling myself short. After thinking about it and a lot of the implications, I decided to add philosophy as a second major and decided to go to law school. Not to be a judge like my professor told me, but to work in sports. Now, a law degree isn't required for what I want to do, but it could definitely help me out. Say I want to work for an NFL front office. Becoming a lawyer could help me better understand contracts, liabilities, and even the league rules. So say if we ever run into any legal issues, I'd actually understand the league rules and how they implicate my own work. In general, having a law degree will just give me a broader knowledge base to work with in the industry. There are similar reasons for becoming a lawyer if I decide to go the agency route as well. I'll better be able to support my clients and I'd actually be able to assist outside counsel if and when any legal issues arose. Plus, leagues don't require you to become a lawyer in order to get certified, but some leagues do require you to have some sort of graduate degree in order to pass the certification. And the most common degrees that agents hold are JDs and MBAs. Funnily enough, I was actually planning on getting both. One semester after I added philosophy as a second major, I added economics as a third major. The plan was to take the LSAT and the GMAT and apply for a joint JD MBA. And the reason that I didn't is because, well, my LSAT was quite a bit higher than my GMAT. So instead of going to a lower ranked school and getting a joint degree, I decided to go to a higher ranked school and just get my law degree. But here's where this video's thumbnail comes in though. I actually am getting a second degree, just not an MBA. I was recently accepted to the MSLB program here at ASU. Now, MSLB stands for Masters in Sports Law and Business. As far as I'm aware, Arizona State is the only university that offers this degree. Other schools offer graduate degrees in sports management, but nothing is tailored as our MSLB program here. I ended up applying for this program because I had a bit of a problem. I know that my law degree will help me out later on down the line and will be really beneficial throughout my career, but it was kind of difficult to stay connected to sports while I was studying a law degree. I mean, it's kind of weird being a full-time law student applying for entry-level ticket sales internships. But the MSLB program has completely fixed that issue for me. Instead of studying stuff that doesn't really apply to me, now I'm able to take classes in stuff like NCAA compliance and amateur and professional sports law. And instead of feeling out of place applying for all these sports internships, I'm able to form connections and the school curates listings based on what's a good fit for us. On top of that, we even get to have these awesome experiences like touring professional stadiums and having speaker panels with GMs and team executives. I know I'm fanboying and talking about how much I love this program, but I can't help it. This is exactly what I was looking for to help me reach my career goals. 
I know my law degree will help me out down the line, but being a lawyer just isn't my end goal. But if you want to know more about what law school is like, check out this video here.